सो हाई एवरी वन एंड आई हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट टूडे क्योंकि जब भी मेरे दिमाग में अच्छे टीचर्स आते हैं तो डेफिनेटली आई थिंक ऑफ वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट फिजियोलॉजी टीचर्स एंड दैट इज डॉक्टर कामल He has been into teaching uh, medical students for such a long time, and I think he is one of the best persons who can tell us the right Thank approach you. for learning physiology. So, hi, Dr. Kamal. Hello, I welcome Hello. you today, and uh, it's it's a great pleasure that I can share the screen with you. And I was just telling you, I think you're one of the finest physiology teachers. Because I have always had a phobia of physio. I think it happens to a lot of kids. Yes. Um, because it has lots of concepts, and uh, you know, not just concepts. They are like the concepts which link you to your clinical subjects. One of the subjects which is most important, I guess, is medicine. And you can't really learn medicine if you don't know your physiology. I I uh, totally agree with you, uh, Dr. Deepthi, and. Uh, Uh, what i feel is that in class 11 and 12 uh, they also read physiology but right. jo physiology what they are studying they start reading from class 7th onwards and then they are into human physiology yes, and then yes. we build the concepts further Agreed. so like uh, they are they have studied about the basics of circulation but now we are going to teach them in physiology about cardiac cycle yeah. cardiac output and some laws of hemodynamics ecg these things are the building blocks of the medicine as you know i always say that in out of the first year subjects the physiology nothing against anyone here of our colleagues but physiology is the most conceptual and agreed, it cannot agreed. be boring Hands if down. taught by an, in a proper way and a channelized way i think it's one of the most lovable and interesting subjects i i completely agree aur वैसे तो गायनी ऑब्स एक सर्जिकल ब्रांच है डॉक्टर कमल बट हमेशा यू नो व्हेनेवर आई वुड टीच प्रेगनेंसी and you know it is such a state yes. ki itne sare changes hote hain but and i always tell my students ki agar aapko wo ye nahi aata hai so you will think pregnancy is a multi organ failure state <laughs> but eventually there and and once you understand that aapko ek itna naya perspective milta hai because right. you understand the why behind things right which i like that that's the beauty of physiology yeah. since you mentioned uh, ma'am obg so i'd like to uh, add ovulation menstrual cycle right. these things we initiate them into now we are telling them about lh surge how the estrogen converts from a negative to positive feedback right. and then further they read about it next eventually in the final year in the obg yes. so in the obs and gyne so if they are clear with the concept in the first year it will even help them to understand the disorders of menstrual cycle totally so agree. i totally believe that first year lot of time it is not their fault when the students are coming just now need they have cleared yeah. so they are very you know euphoric elated, <laughs> elated euphoric Agreed. and in that euphoric feelings lot of them you know they leave studies and lot of them they get uh, they digress into other things and they are not able to appreciate the nuances and the basic finer details of the preclinical subjects and their mm-hmm. value and i must share with you done the on the upcoming curriculum Hanji, the Hanji. nmc the nmc has uh, you know lot of uh, focus on the pre and para clinical subjects especially right. the pre clinical where there is lot of scope for vertical integration That's right. a first year student ko probably he doesn't understand what vertical integration is so going in a very basic way vertical as we say going up Hanji. or going down Hanji. so we are moving from anatomy physiology biochemistry which is first year subject to final year subject which is medicine surgery obg right. so we are going upwards like this this is the vertical movement so if i link both how can i link unless and until they don't know preclinical so eventually they will have to study and it is very interesting subject if they read good books which i will be coming to next Hanji. that which books they should follow i yes. think uh, tabhi mujhe laga dr kamal ki you are one of the best persons क्योंकि ये फर्स्ट ईयर वाले स्टूडेंट्स ऐसे होते हैं कि यू कैन स्टिल काव देम इनटू यू नो बेटर डॉक्टर्स एंड पीपल हु आर हैप्पी टू लर्न एंड इफ दे कम अक्रॉस गुड टीचर्स तो वो एक प्रोसेस बहुत सिंपलीफाई हो जाता है मुझे लगता है तो डॉक्टर कमल मुझे बताइए आप जब पढ़ाते हैं व्हाट वुड बी द बेस्ट वे आपके दिमाग में क्या चलता है हाउ शुड अ फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट स्टार्ट रीडिंग फिजियोलॉजी and what we uh, actually what i feel it's so many years of teaching experience in uh, various places what i think now is that students they want to take an easy approach Hanji. and easy approach starts from maybe buying an indian author book so okay. nothing against our uh, colleagues or our seniors who have penned down those books mm. but naturally when we do cut paste there are a lot of typo errors there yes, are a lot yes, of conceptual yes. errors and those are just like handwritten notes right. but there is no alternative for a conceptual book which is our guidance and as we always say it's the bible of physiology 
and all good physicians which you ever come across in your life, you will find them that they are still very fond of Guyton. And they love it like anything because they say it's the basic book. Right. And uh, even as a medical graduate, you also must have read Guyton. So it's a, one of the wonderful books. So and people toh... have excellent memories associated with that book. That's true. A meri toh ab ek hi memory, if I have to know something about physiology or ya mujhe gynaeos mein samaj nahi aara, I'm going to call <laughs> sir up. Right. Thank so you so much. So I simply do that <laughs> or my thing is sorted. Uh, and I am glad that students also have access because good teachers, as I said, it's not that kids can't do it themselves. But when they come across good teachers and your building blocks to your yes. career, right. the journey becomes very smooth. Right. And that is the entire purpose. So, they can do it. They are they are very intelligent because right. they have cleared NEET UG. They can do it. I agree with you. But maybe we have to push them in the right direction. That's true. That push Bilkul. is required. Otherwise, they don't know, they pick up Indian author books and maybe after 7-8 months down the line when the they exams are approaching, key. then it is too late a self-realization. And then, you know, things have turned sour maybe and then they can't go back. So then they regret in the second year that maybe I should have read, you know, Guyton or Genong. Second book I was coming to was Genong. Haji. But probably the issue is Genong is a review book okay. and Guyton is a textbook. Okay. And I think most of our students understand a review book is an average version. Yeah. Average matlab usme sab kuch synopsis Nahin. hai. Haji, haji. And usme chota chota karke diya hai. To bohat sare students they are not able to understand. Especially the ones who are not maybe so, you know, good in English. Right. So they find some English words difficult in that bilkul, book. Bilkul. So that is why the right approach would be, according to me, the first we should read Guyton, which is a textbook. And then probably we should read the same chapter from Genong and try to either make your own notes or maybe take help from a teacher who is helping you out to prepare good notes from both the books. Coming I'm down sure to, that's yes. what you do, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Our purpose is to link both the books mm. in an easier, comprehensible way for them which they can easily understand, comprehend and maybe, you know, remember for future. That is another most important point because yeah. our focus is not only on exam. First year exam, probably, you know, they will pass. But it is not only about passing. It is about making a good, you know, the building block, as you said, mm -hmm. or maybe a good uh, framework because all the structural support is going to happen because of preclinical subject. Yes, yes. So as we teach them also, there is a dystrophin, dystroglycan complex, which we always say is providing a structural support or scaffolding. Mm -hmm. So I will call physiology as probably a scaffolding for medicine, pharma, and even pathology for that matter. So nicely put. I think yes. that's that's true. Yeah. And sir, I also want to know that when children come to first year and if I put them in front of them, like you said, we are euphoric. Yes. And sometimes we are not doing our mind, we think that we will study one day before the exam. So tell me, how can we, um, not exactly push, but at least how can we make a habit for children, that if we do a little bit, we will do a little bit, rather than many hours before the exam. So I think that the journey is a little bit simplified. Absolutely, what I think is that every day they should devote some time to study. Absolutely, what I think is that every day they should devote some time to each subject and maybe what we are seeing is that maximum time they devote to anatomy hmm. and the least time they are denoting to biochemistry and physiology because generally most of them are petrified of anatomy or what hmm. but uh, hota kya hai, all the three subjects have equal weightage so actually at the end of the day you need to know all the three right so maybe they should at least spend and they should split the topic into further subtopics i think okay. that is the best approach according to me if you have to read cardiovascular system it has almost eight to ten topics which right. has blood pressure then regulation of blood pressure, cardiac cycle, output, cardiac output, hemodynamics. Now in one day, if you tell any student to read all these 7-8 topics together, as you rightly said, they will get confused. Yes. So probably Monday, they can only read about cardiac cycle. Yeah. Tuesday, they can revise and add on cardiac output. Then Wednesday, maybe they can add on blood pressure as well. And penultimate, eventually in one week, they would be able to cover the entire topic. I think that's a wonderful way to do it. Yes. And uh, this is the rule of thumb. When there is a task, it's difficult. Yes. Break down into smaller parts which are more doable because those targets, because they are doable, you have to give your target too. Yes, that's correct. So I think that's a beautifully said thing and that's why I said someone who is as nice a teacher as you is the right person to guide you. Thank you so much. And sir, can you tell us some tips and tricks for the first year students? Manali ji, they have not started studying yet. So how do they do their own... You know, process ko asaan karein ya thoda ghabraayin ka mar shuru karein. Kaise kar sakte hai? I think first of all, they should always read good textbooks. As I already mentioned, they should 
definitely try out and try to read and read catch up with Guyton and Genong. And if they want to supplement, they can supplement with any Indian author book of their choice. Now, the very common query with students put is, which Indian author ka book padna hai? Because okay. there are so many available in the market. And okay. every college all over the India has their own uh, teachers which have written down the books. So maybe they are pushed into reading those books. Right, right. But I, I give a very simple advice that let us say student has read a topic of body fluids from general physiology. Hmm. Now, everybody of these children are so intelligent that they can go back, they can pick up X, Y, Z Indian author book. I will not be naming any books here. So they can read up that chap chapter from three books simultaneously. It will hardly take them one hour, 15 minutes for each or 30 minutes from each book. And then they are their best judge. Mm -hmm. So don't go by your senior's advice. Senior might be liking X book, but the other person might not be liking it because everybody has their own way of, you know, uh, liking things and reading about and reading and writing style. Yeah. So this is my first advice that go, don't get bogged down by your seniors. They are just one year elder to you. Take their advice, but please follow your teachers and do not follow your seniors blindly. Because in medical college, even we have through the same thing, we have That's gone true. through that process. What we see is that, you know, in our times, there used to be a concept of bookmarking. Uh, so a lot of people uh, used, used to, to get, get done from our seniors. Yes, our seniors. <laughs> now it depends on the quality of the senior. Yes, yes, <laughs> One senior might say that, you know, the only shock and blood pressure is important. <laughs> Leave aside everything else. Yeah. And the other one will mark so much that you will not go to him the second time or him or her. So that again depends. But I will again say that pick up the good books and read every day, further simplify and take help. Now, these days, there are a lot of online sources. There are a lot of uh, classes going on. So take your help. Yes. It's your own call. Take help. Don't be shy. And one should take help because yeah. it will help them to save their time and maybe move at a quicker pace. Because okay. at the end of the day, it is not only about studying. Maybe they have come into the medical college. They want to enjoy themselves. So if somebody can lessen your burden, they should take help. And there is no problem in that. Rightly said. Uh, and sir, one last thing which I have to ask is that whenever we study certain subjects, we always give facts and memorize them. Right. But I think physiology is something which, uh, which is something that fascinates me. It teaches you the why behind things. Yes, absolutely correct. So uh, as a physiology right. expert, you know, I would want to know students advice to simply mug up and memorize the parts or to go with more with whys and build up their concepts and yes memory to hamesha hamare subjects mein rehta hi rehta hai. but what should be their primary focus actually in physiology what i feel is and uh, it is extremely conceptual subject and it is, has a lot of concepts yeah. starting from a very basic thing which they have read in class 11 12 and even we when we teach them again osmolarity osmolality hmm. normality these are something which we all have studied starting from school chemistry right. again we are going to do with them so they don't have to cram that so yeah. cramming and you know that ratification what they have been doing probably is not required in physiology if you are learning the concept nicely it will always be edged up in your mind yeah. and you will be able to get the things in the exam. So need not worry because the main thing is understanding and that too in a proper conceptual way. If they know that how do we, do we divide the body fluids, what is the trick behind it, what is the general composition of the ECF, ICF, they don't need to cram. Probably then another suggestion from my side would be they should always practice some questions after doing a topic. Okay. And that too may be around not maybe 100 but just 10 or 20 will suffice. They can do just 10 to 20 MCQs or maybe some short notes, some assertion reasoning type questions which stimulate their mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we always believe that by doing questions, it helps them to, you know, stimulate recall based memory, which is again a very important step because exam may mean their, uh, uh, you know, factor which terror terrorizes them the most is ki yaad aega ya nahi. Mm. So if you are Bhoole able to jai. write down have a mat take some practice do some practice questions over a weekend padne ka man nahi kar raha hai char question ka answer likh ke dekh liya yeah. maybe you will feel confident and lot of students think ki zyada likhenge zyada page bharenge to examiner zyada marks dega there is nothing like it hmm. you write in four steps if it is you giving me the entire information why will i deduct your marks hmm. it is nothing like that so i think they are miscommunicated lot of things are being miscommunicated to them great and uh... Tell me one thing, something personal now, yeah, Doctor. बहुत सारा हमने ये वाला चीज पूछा. मुझे ये बताओ, as a teacher, what is the moment in the class that really, you know, uh, stays with you? Something that is very special to you while you're teaching. And for me, the biggest uh, 
satisfaction of uh, teaching is that when you know our students whom we have taught over the years they meet me like i'll share with you when i was senior resident in lady harding medical college long time back i think around 11 12 years back okay. so we had taught a student who was undergraduate at that time first year student of course mm -hmm. so recently i met her outside and she stopped me kamal sir where are you going did you identify me and ah. then she told me that i am a practicing gynecologist Wonderful. and then she invited me to her clinic and it was very nice feeling and i think no money nothing can buy that uh, respect or self happiness yeah. so that is a very surreal feeling and it is that feeling which gives us utmost satisfaction students identify with you and you will not believe she told me a very nice thing blood pressure to aapne hi lena sikhaya uske baad to humne sirf practice kari so it was such a nice gesture on her part and these things stay i think stay with us yes, forever absolutely i think uh, uh, dekho usko bhi aap yaad rahe itne Jee. sare logon mein se yes. aap yaad rahe so i'm sure that you ensure that you leave your mark on every student that you associate with we try with. our best <laughs> that's, that's that's such a humble and uh, you know nice thing and uh, dr kamal ab kuch non academic baat batao aapko kya apart from teaching aur kya acha lagta hai i am into i actually like uh, driving very much <laughs> ah. i am into driving and i have been so long to drives? yeah long drives and okay. i have been to a uh, lot of places in shimla uttarakhand where i have wow. driven myself oh, okay. so i am a passionate driver i can drive for 8 to 10 hours also <laughs> non stop and i like uh, i used to play zonal level table tennis oh, wow. <laughs> so i was a daily state table tennis player Wonderful. <laughs> but then because of you know studies pressure and all so it basically so abhi khelte ho thoda thoda yeah, ya abhi kuch abhi bilkul abhi khelte hain college mein students ke sath <laughs> kabhi wow. kabhi but so aise teacher hone chahiye jinke sath hum khali padhe hi nahi khele bhi you know so that is that is Thank great you. i think that's a bond that uh, yeah. once it is created wo kahi nahi ja sakta Absolutely and it's right. very very special right, 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 and right. let me tell you ki dr kamal ek aise teacher hain who's very approachable he's very humble he's super hard working and he's amazing with his concepts so uh, thank you dr kamal Welcome, it is an absolute pleasure to know the tips and tricks for our first year students Same and here, i'm Thank sure so much they for listen, inviting me <laughs> no i'm sure once they listen and uh, you know they start following your chote chote advices mm. which make a big big impact so thank you so much dr kamal yes. welcome ma'am